Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the basics of SketchUp. Today, I want to take a look at a functionality that is part of a tool we've already looked at. That is the Move Tool. In the Move Tool, you actually have the ability to rotate groups and components while using moves. You don't have to switch over to rotate if you want to just spin something around. There are a few pieces to it that make it, well, let's hop in and take a look. Okay, so first things first, I have a, I have a couple things here on the screen. I have Sumele, and then I have a group. So this is a bunch of lines, edges, faces that create kind of a box. You can see up here it says it's a solid group. Over here I have the exact same geometry, but it's not in a group. You can see it's just loose faces and edges. Now, I'm gonna take a look at how this tool works, and then we're gonna talk about where it will and won't work. So first thing I'm gonna do is in select, I'm just gonna go pick on this group. So this box group inside of, or box inside of a group. Then I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna hit the move tool. I also hit M on the keyboard, that would work just as well. And now this function's exactly the same. We did this covered move in another video where I can actually grab it by the edges or I can do a relative move. But you'll notice if you move your cursor in so you're over one of the sides of the group, you get these little red X's show up, or pluses is really what they are. These are handles for rotation. If I hover over one of them, it's going to show me the compass that's in that axis. And if I click, click and release, now I'm actually moving around that center point. Uh, if I watch down lower right corner, it's telling me the exact angle. If I want to, I can start moving in direction, type an exact amount in, 90, enter, and boom, there it goes. This rotate command only works on groups or containers, and what it's actually doing is rotating the container, it's rotating the box, the container that this geometry is in. And you'll see as you move over different sides, you're going to move on those different axes. Okay, so how is that different from using the rotate command? Well, if I keep it selected and I go hop in here and click on rotate, I can do very much the same thing, but rotate works off of snap points or points just like move does. So with rotate, I might come in here, grab it by the corner and flip it up like that. See, that's very different from what move does because move always moves off the center of the face. So the rotate that I use in move is always gonna be the middle of the highlighted face. You could get to that point with rotate too. So using rotate, I could use inferencing to find where does the middle of this face hit the middle of this face and find that middle point and now start rotating around just like, just like the move command does. But the move command is gonna be faster. The other thing that is nice is while I'm in here, I could do that. I can drag it, move it over here, rotate it again, line it up again with the origin. So I'm in move all the time, so I can constantly come in and move and rotate seamlessly without switching commands. Now, like I said, there are caveats. When it's rotating, it's basing those rotation points on the container. So even though I have this nice square group here with nice fat, flat faces, if I go to move, I can grab it and I can move it around, but see if I hover, I don't get those controls. Why do I not get those controls? Because it's not a group or component. If I want to, one solution to that is I could temporarily right click, make it a group, use that rotate on that geometry, and then right click and explode, and that would let me use those commands, those controls, without having it actually be a group. So, kind of a cool little tool that's in there. I didn't cover it when we talked about move originally because there was so much stuff just to cover with a basic uh, command that I didn't want to spend another, how, I don't know how many minutes that was, several minutes adding that on. I wanted to do that justice because it's such a cool command. If you work with a lot of groups, which you should be doing if you're using SketchUp, you should be putting things in groups, then using that rotate piece of move is, it's just essential. It is a great command. It'll really help you if you're moving things around your model. 
If you like that, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Are you liking these Square One videos? Is there a command that you would like to see covered? Or is there a concept you think we should dive into at a beginner's level? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.